Hi, this is a continuation for Power Electronics Sessions, and this is task four in lab one. So uh, we have covered three tasks now, and you know how to build such a circuit like this one now. So the purpose of this video is to show you how to add a new component uh, to your library. So we have voltage source and resistor and a diode. But if I want to select one specific diode, I think we can right click on this and we pick up one of the diodes that are in the list and I think we have lots of them which are okay but if I have one which is not exist I think most of you now or all of you aware of uh, or know that the, the first diode that we met in our life which is called 1N4001 okay so searching for the 1N001 it's it's very weird that it's not here, okay? So that's why I want to add it as uh, one of my models. I, I There are many ways to add this, but I just want to, to do the uh, less effort one and also the simple one just to do the task. I don't want to add it here in this list as specific one, but I can really use it as a model. So what we have to do. So this is called LT-SPICE. That means we have to search for the spice model for any component we want and to do that we have to google it so now by going to google what i wrote i wrote one and four zero zero one which is the date I'm, i want diode lt spice model okay and after searching i think you will come up with many uh, results some of them are from forums sometimes they are not very guaranteed and some of them are from uh, manufacturers or distributors which like Mouser okay or Farnell or uh, uh, DigiKey or other big uh, resellers so I prefer to go for these so let's go for Mouser okay and check their website so this is the diode this is yeah one and four zero zero one and I want to see not all of them offer the uh, spice model but I want to see if they offer it so by going down and down and down I see here spice models. Some don't offer this one, so you have to search and search and search after you find one. Why I prefer these resellers or distributors? Because at least they got it from the manufacturer uh, and maybe more guaranteed than others. However, sometimes they are accurate to some extent. So we have P spice model, we have spice 2, we have spice 3 model. If you just hover over these lines here, you will find different. Uh, different um, uh, extension so just read read on this part here okay you will see this is dot lib this is dot sp2 this is dot sp3 okay i don't care about sp2 and sp3 let's go for the library and download the first one and here is my component and this is the library i don't want to go for the complex way to add it to my existent library i can just try to click on that and just go to edit and now i have now the code this now code is the model the spice model for my for my diode so now let's it's started from this one so i will just it's started from dot model here and finish at that line because the others are just commands so let's copy this one to go to alt spice here is alt spice and i can just Go to op and press or copy, uh, paste that one. So here is my command. Press the space key or three set your view to uh, to what you have. So this is the model and this is the name of the model. Okay, I can rename it to be something else, but let's keep it as it is. But I have to copy it. Okay, and make my diode to have the same name like that okay so i think now my lt spice will recognize that this one is getting its data from this model which replicate, uh, replicate the model of the diode one and four zero zero one now let's run the system but i think we have to tell it it's a transient response for example transient response for one millisecond okay and now it's run if it gives us any error that means there is something doesn't match for example if i forgot zero 
and want to run it it gives me an error that okay the model that you have here is different we can't find it in our library but because i have it here so i think i can it, it will get the model from what i already quoted okay so this is how you insert any new component in your simulation and you can do that sweep and uh, transient response and other things that you can do it's not just uh, related to diodes you can uh, you can uh, install any transistors and any other things but there is another way and i found um, one link that has many other components which are really good and you can install it uh, in your library so if i have gone to my component here and i will find here a folder i just created that folder it's called extra okay and once i press it i have more so these are new components different from what i have in my alti spice and i can select any of these like scr okay i can this one is 2 and 60 27 i can this is the thyristor i can use it and the model of it i think it's already uh it's already embedded inside so how i inserted this it's not very important to know this and to do it okay because we are not going to use these components in our module and simulation but this is as extra knowledge i will show you now the uh, the website and here is the website okay that's just a personal uh, page it has been created by somebody and he bought some additional library for alt spice so i will give you this link just to make sure that you 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 get this library and you can follow what he's saying here exactly uh, to install this library in your alti spice okay so i will not go through this in details because i will leave it to you because this is extra if you would like to get more models about more components and maybe that he's pointing here to that transformers which are really uh, important if we want to go for uh, uh, converters uh, containing some transformers like fly uh, back converters okay so i will leave this to you to maybe uh, decide if you want to go for extra components or no but i showed you the simple way to add any new component but if you didn't find your component in the spice models provided by uh, manufacturers or by other uh, people contributed to make that component i think uh, that's it you can learn the spice language or just ignore it and say seek for alternative so in this task i just want you to duplicate this part if you want to go for extra go for it if you don't want at least you you know how to copy and how to do uh, inserting uh, some other components in your alt spice and that's it for lab one i think uh, we covered now four tasks the expectation i have just mentioned them in each video and if you have any problem just review uh, the video again and see if there is an issue just you can drop me an email thank you very much